Silicon Valley, technology, art, green, and sustainability. Welcome to Silicon Valley Tech, Art, Green, and Sustainability. Today, I'm very honored to have a, a business lady who's been in the Valley a long time and has done some great things, Christy Rogers. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having yeah. me. So Christy Rogers Connects and Silicon Valley Women in Business, and you've done many other things. But before we start talking about business, tell us about you. Where you're from, your background, did you, what did you go to school for? Tell us a so little bit about you. I'm actually local. I was born in Oakland, actually at Alta Bates, and then uh, grew up here in San Jose and graduated from San Jose State. I have a bachelor's degree in international business. Yay, San Jose I know, State! I know, I know, <laughs> I know. So it's fun, t you know, that I grew up here, so I know tons of people, and it ties into my work. And probably something really fun about me is I love basset hounds, and I have my very own. Her name is Lollipop. And um, another fun thing about me is I love my Pilates reformer class. I always like to talk about that. What so is it? My Pilates reformer class. Okay. Yeah. And it's so Pilates, it's but it's on a machine. Okay. It's on this weird contraption-looking machine. Well, I've been on, I've, yeah. I've ha taken Pilates before, but yeah. it's a reformer class. So what? Right. Is, so is so what does that oh, mean? The reformer. The machine is called a reformer. Okay. Okay. So it's yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I didn't know if it was a special technique or I've only taken Pilates a couple times. Yeah. So San Jose State graduate, and then yeah. we worked together years ago, but we don't need to go there, I guess, right? Or maybe we do. We actually worked at Nordstrom's together in college, and yeah. I always had at least two or three jobs a semester in college, and. Um, yeah, and you were, you've al you've always been just you know such a, a cheerful and delightful person, and you've done some great work in um, in in women's uh, work and women in business. And today happens to be Women's International Business Day, so it's going to be past that um, when this airs. So tell us what you're doing now, and and e women networking. You ran that for years, and you've just so done so much. So how this all started was way back in 1996. I was writing a book on gift giving, teaching people how to choose a gift for someone. And one of the things when you write a book is you've got to have an audience. And then I was like, I need to go network because I don't have an audience at this point. So that started um, myself and two other gals, Kathleen Ronald and Shelby Matlock. We started Women in Networking. And so it was monthly networking events. We did that for about nine years. Now it's just a Yahoo group. And then I ended up starting the chapter for eWomen Network. And, and what year was that? That was 2003. Okay. Did that for eight years. And then now doing business, uh, you know, I, I'm creating my own community, Business Women of Silicon Valley, which is really about helping women, doesn't matter what your profession is, what industry, helping women to have a forum to connect and connect in a meaningful and productive way. So we use a structured approach to networking where we meet in groups of four or five people and you each have four minutes to introduce yourself personally and professionally. And so it really helps um, to get to know someone and then even more importantly is it's a forum to ask for what you need. What do you need personally? What do you need professionally? So the purpose is networking and yep. connecting with other women but mm -hmm. then also what your needs are. Yeah, and, to, and with the intention to make business happen but also support personally. Maybe you need a pet sitter, maybe you need a ride to the airport, maybe you need a recipe, restaurant recommendations. I need a mom sitter right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, yeah. like the pet sitter and my mom sitter are both like going away one weekend that I actually have something to do and it's like, okay, I need an, another pet sitter and a mom sitter. <laughs> So anybody yep. out there. Yep. Um, <laughs> yep. um, so that's the purpose. And then, you, again, the other one you had for nine years. Uh -huh. And then eWomen yes. Networking, how long were you doing that? I uh, ran that chapter for eight years. And this is how long has this been something you've been doing? As new? business women of Silicon Valley, as we know it, uh, April 1st will be three years. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank that's, you. That's thank really you. great. That's thank really you. great. Um, let's pull up the first two slides, which I have I'm behind on the slides right now. So we'll pull those up. So this is one of the typical events, and I believe this is at Maggiano's, this Correct. one? Correct. We do a lunch event every third Friday at Maggiano's. And we can pull that one down. So every third Friday, and people can find that. Oh, and then this is another one here. I love yeah. that. And you've got the, the um, cards out there. Mm -hmm. I actually know both of those ladies. Yeah. 
Linnea and um, Kai. And Kai, yeah. Let's pull those down. So it's funny when when the photos um, were sent to me, I'm like, oh, I know this person, this person. It's like, yeah. it's funny. It's like, okay, wait, do I know that many people in Silicon Valley? No, I'm just getting older. <laughs> I always say, give me another 50 years and then I'll know the rest of the valley, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so Magianos, and you do other places too, right? You have other. Yep. So we do um, the third Friday consistently and then the fourth Tuesday or Thursday and members host us in their homes or at their businesses. And is this evening or day? Oh that's the it's a dinner event. A dinner okay. Yeah. So okay. the fourth Tuesday Thursday is Tuesday or Thursday is a dinner event. Okay. And then twice a year we do a big event called uh, Women in Business Mega Networking Experience. Okay. And that's which I've not been to that yet but yeah. I'd, I'd love to go. Is that now is that coming up or did that happen already this year? Um, it happened in January, but there's one coming up July 21st. Okay. okay. And that's a third Friday. Still so at twice Magianos. a year it happens then? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So third Friday. And is that typically, where, where do you usually host those? Right now, still at Magianos. Okay. And the intention there is we don't have a speaker. Our normal format is we have a speaker, a topic discussion. So when it's the mega networking experience, it's all about networking and just really diving in and meeting a lot of people using our structured format. And typically, how many people go to these events? It can range from 20 to 30. The, the big events, we get anywhere from, oh gosh, 60 to 100. And probably the dinner events, which are sometimes at private homes, are smaller mm -hmm. too. Yeah, probably 20 to 25. Yeah, because yeah. you can't fit that many people in parking and, and all yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and the dinner events are also speaker? Events? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And is there also a structure to the networking as well? Yes, that's my forte is it's always a structured and facilitated networking opportunity. And yeah. you usually have questions, right, laid out for people or no? Or is it kind of an open? Yep, I provide a series of questions, again, focusing on personal and professional that the attendees can use as a guide to introducing themselves. And it really just helps to create safety and gives, you know, the quieter people permission to be able to speak and talk and connect and um, it just creates uh, So it's kind of a timed, um, yeah. they have time to each person to do, you know, like hold their thing up and talk or how does that work? Yep, each person will have four minutes total and so at I, three minutes uninterrupted and then I say one more minute and then in that one minute people can interact, pass their business cards to the person offering help, suggestions, ideas, resources, and then uh, when that one minute's up, we move to the next person. Let's bring a couple more slides up. We'll bring two more up right now. So there you are talking. Yeah. And I, I, there was another photo. Bring the next one up too. We had, a, and this, this shows a, a wider view of the, of the Magianos, I guess. Um, great, yeah, it looks like a great networking event. We can bring that back down. Um, so, Let's talk about the memberships. Are there levels of membership or how can people participate? There's just one level of membership and for everybody and it allows you, uh, you get a discount off the lunch events, you get a, a discount off the dinner events, you get a half hour call with me each month where we can work on some, maybe your sales cycle, your follow up skills, your networking skills, maybe it's just accountability. And then we have a Yahoo group. That's where all of us communicate with each other outside of the event. So you're a personal coach then, a business coach. Yeah, I love working with people and helping them to define and get better at say at sales. Okay. Yeah. So sales coach, but personal yeah. coach as well. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so, have you been? How long have you been doing the coaching then? It kind of, you know, it just has evolved as yeah. people, you know, as I've gotten better at what I do, and people are like seeing my success and they're like how did you do that I want that too <laughs> so it's kind of just as I'm growing people are asking me I want that too and um, if people don't want to join can they just do a trial run or how you know how does that work do people just come and test it out and they can just pay another fee to, to go to the lunch or whatever you can come twice as a non-member we are okay. a membership organization okay and so that is important to come once or twice and then you do have to join to continue on. So the dynamics in Silicon Valley, we, we are very diverse and you know California is so liberal. Um, women in business, it's, it's a very prominent community. Tell us, 
tell us what's happening with women in business here now. This, the, and not politics wise, but what's happening? You know, because there's there's a lot of drama right now. I think in politics, um, and, we, and obviously with Hillary Clinton not winning. Um, but what's what's going on right now with women in business here? Well, one of the things that I, if I had it all my way and my wish for women in business locally is that we would pull together even stronger and really create support and networks with each other.